The venerable Janus class heavy cruiser has its origins long before the unification of the Twelve Colonies, earning its reputation across the Imperial Wars between Virgon and Leonis. The ship is in fact Geminese by design, and represents one of the most trusted and well-respected warships in colonial history, even in the final years of its long career. At just over 1,000 metres in length, the Janus class sports a narrow and angular frame, marked by four large drive clusters for sublight propulsion. The ship's body is coated in multiple layers of heavy armour, a feature that has become famous among military shipwrights. Even the vessel's structural supports are solid enough to endure numerous direct hits after the armour has been stripped away. Though the Janus is beloved by ship enthusiasts, those assigned to crew the ageing vessels are generally less than pleased. This is largely due to the warship's horribly cramped and uncomfortable interior, plagued with exposed pipeworks, tiny crew quarters, and poorly maintained internal temperature. The armament of the Janus class consists of numerous ship-to-ship -ship gun batteries, largely centred around the vessel's prow and ventral spine. The ships also carried an enormous complement of missiles, which could easily be exchanged for more specialised munitions or even nuclear warheads. The behaviour of a single Janus class in combat is blunt and uncomplicated, representing space Spaceborne warfare at its very simplest, the vintage warship will simply drop shell after shell onto her current target, creating a relentless barrage of fire, punctuated by the occasional missile salvo, whilst simply absorbing any counter-attack into her heavy armour. As the first Cylon War began to escalate, many of the twelve colonies elected to redeploy their remaining Yanis class vessels, choosing to react to the Cylon threat by reclaiming the doctrines and strategies of past conflicts. Though faced with new Cylon vessels, far more sophisticated than themselves, the ships of the Janus class continued to maintain one of the highest personnel survival rates in the colonial fleet. The reintroduction of Janus class vessels to the colonial warfront was accompanied by a fleet-wide tactical shift toward the use of minefields, many of which were deployed by the older vessels. Though a great many of these mines were simply proximity explosives, some units were intended as an inelegant response to the Cylon mastery of cyber warfare. With a properly deployed EMP minefield, a colonial force could theoretically inflict serious damage on the individual subsystems of a hostile warship, a level of precision normally reached by only the Cylons themselves. The importance of the Janus class to colonial military history cannot be overstated. The ship is remembered alongside the colonial Viper and the earliest battle stars as one of the true icons of space warfare, and across its long career, the ship has seriously impacted the landscape of multiple conflicts. Much as the refugees of the Second Cylon War would eventually find security in the shadow of an aging Jupiter-class battle star, so too did the colonists of the First Cylon War reach backwards in time to the redoubtable Janus-class heavy cruiser to halt the Cylon advance.